Hi everyone, welcome to another Everything Google G Suite video with Z. Um, today's video we're talking about screen capture and narrating. So take a seat and let's get started. So screen capturing and narrating software. So there's quite a few that are out there at the moment, but I've not been able to find any that are totally, totally free. So most that you do find are basically either literally watermarks or you've got to pay um, a subscription service to it once you've used it for a certain amount of time or they are some that give you like a minute or two worth of recording before you're going to pay for it. But one of the free ones that I kind of, not the free ones, but one of the ones that I do kind of like using is Screencastify because it's probably gives you the, the most recording time without having to worry about watermarks and stuff. And it's quite widely used by a lot of people. If you do really like the software, you can pay uh, a premium upgrade for it, but I just tend to use it for the five minute clips and stuff. So it does the trick for me. So you can use um, Screencastify uh, as a Chrome extension. Um, so basically on my screen, you can see uh, where you can download that from really. So if you just type in Screencastify in the Chrome web store, uh, it'll take this page, you click install and it's ready to go. Um, I will put a link in the video as well, just to make sure. So once you've installed it, on the right hand side here, you will see a little um, a little add-on um, basically to, to your Chrome browser. And that's literally all that's installed. Once you hit that, and you can just basically choose what you want to record. So let's get straight into it. So I've got a Google slide already open here. So if I hit that, um, Screencastify icon, you get three options to choose of what type of recordings you want to do. Um, you can record just the browser tab, the desktop tab, or you're just a webcam owner. Now there's a little slider here that says webcam, uh, embed webcam, and basically what it does is it records your webcam at the bottom right hand corner of your videos. I've seen quite a few people who use that, but I find a bit of a distraction when I'm trying to show stuff, so I don't tend to have that enabled. So, uh, you, like I said at the top, you do get five minutes worth of recording. If you want to upgrade, you can do. So I'm just gonna hit on record on that. Once you record, it gives you a bit of a timer to start recording. And once it starts, you can do whatever you want. Now, I mean, most people use it to narrate over stuff like Google Slides, or it might be a piece of work, or you might be in a meeting or a demonstration and stuff. Um, whatever's shown in your tab, that's what it will record. So basically, it could be maybe a YouTube video, it could be a presentation, it could be a website, um, it could be a workflow or something, but whatever you do, whatever options you choose, whatever you're showing, it does actually record. So just for the sake, I'm just going to click pause on that. And basically, once you hit pause, hit stop, and it opens up um, the, the, the interface for your Screencastify option. So it just goes to preview mode. So I'm just going to pause that. But what I love about this application is on the right hand side there, you can see, you can share your recording directly to Google Classroom. So once you hit that, it'll list all your Google classes that you've got, and you can post it directly into Classroom without having to download and upload, um, which is a great feature, especially if you're a teacher. So what happens basically once it's recorded, um, if I go over to this little symbol on top left hand side, they usually call it the hamburger symbol. If I go to my recordings, it now shows you all the recordings that you've done. These are the couple that I've done earlier, but this is just an interface. The actual files do sit in your Google Drive. So if I go to my drive, it's my drive, uh, Screencastify, and basically all your files are there. So whenever you're recording or whatever you're recording, they also appear there. You do get the option to uh, save it direct to your, your Windows device or your device if you choose to do so, but I've set mine to record and save that to Google Drive. Now, if you are a educational user or enterprise user, you can actually send this application or this extension out to uh, all your users or your Chromebooks using the admin console. Uh, if you use blacklist and whitelist, do enable it in your whitelist, otherwise your users won't be able to download it. Um, if you do find uh, an, uh, an extension or an app that's really, really uh, Google friendly, let me know if it's totally free and I'll post it in the comments. Um, but I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.